Action News Jack's Robert Grant joins us live outside Reigns High School. Robert, an incident there cost a teen his life, and after reviewing the report, his mother says it could have been avoided if school police handled crimes properly. Yeah, John, according to that report, they say that the police chief ordered officers to release a student who was arrested for fighting at the football field here at Reigns, a football game. That same teen was later shot and killed, something the report says could have been avoided had they done the correct actions in the first place. We want to make sure we're following the law and the procedures that are there, um, and at that same time making sure we're caring for our students. The Duval County School Board faced a highly critical statewide grand jury report, which only called out DCPS. Whenever we get a report like that, we want to see what actions we can take or what actions we've already taken. And honestly, this report that we got, there's a lot of things we already put in place. Board Chair Daryl Willey says under former Duval Schools Police Chief Michael Edwards, officers were told to write down reports as informational, which are not reported to the state, whereas offense reports are reported to the state. According to the grand jury, the department underreported more than 2,000 crimes from 2016 to 2019, stating Edwards demanded that officers stay in their lane, telling them that they were to behave not as police, but as advocates with a badge. Willie says that training changed immediately under Superintendent Dr. Diana Green's leadership. If you really look at what happened, we were always reporting the incidents that were happening. So regardless of if they weren't reported as criminal offenses or whatnot on that level, they were still facing code of conduct. Uh, within our schools. Willie says underreporting started in 2012 after pressure from the community to stop the schools to prison pipeline and avoid leaving students with a criminal record. Action News Jack's on safety expert Dale Carson says there's several reasons agencies report crimes as informational. Is it important for the system to show a reduction in crime so that people are more comfortable sending their children to a given county a given city or a given school district. And the district did ask the state to come visit and review its safety protocols back in May. The school board is waiting for that official report before they make any recommendations, but the grand jury calls on criminal charges for the former police chief. Could he get any? Action News Jax's lawn safety expert weighs in next at six. With local coverage you can count on on the north side, I'm Robert Grant, Action News Jax.